Bonsoir. All right, y'all. So I just added a lash on. I'm about to add another lash. These lashes, if you guys are wondering, because I know you're gonna be like, "Where the lashes from?" These lashes are from Elf and Hair. I don't know. They just sent me a pair of lashes with um, the wig that they sent me. I'm gonna add this other lash. Y'all always ask me how do I put on my lash. I literally just put it on in like two seconds. Let me show y'all. That's it. All right, y'all. So I did get the position that I wanted. Um, I posted it on Instagram that I got the job that I wanted, the position that I wanted. I'm still the same MOS, but I'm being moved to a way higher level. So I'm very happy about that. So tonight I'm going to be celebrating. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog. What the fuck do these people want? But yeah, so I'm going to install this wig. This is by Elf in here. I will insert the um, unboxing portion right now. like i haven't dressed up or looked cute in um weeks and not looking cute kind of like makes me feel ugly and then i get all sad and then you know so they did send me a bob wig hold on let me fix you guys all right yeah so they did send me a bob wig with a bang i did wear a bob in my last vlog and you guys were like oh my god where did you get that bob from so i'm going to start incorporating hair into every vlog so they sent me this cute bob wig. I don't know if it's gonna be, if it's gonna look nice on me, but we'll see. But yeah, this is a full, ooh. Okay, here we go. This is a 12 inch. And it comes with two combs on the side. Comb at the bottom and also a comb in the middle, which is perfect. And then it also has the adjustable straps on the bottom because I got a big ass head. They also did send me a wig cap. Send me a wig cap that I'm gonna be using. But yeah, so let me talk to y'all while I do this. So basically y'all, so okay, my first duty station, I was the company PAO. And then my second uh, duty station, I was company PAO as well. So PAO stands for Public Affairs Officer. I'm not an officer, so drop, drop the officer part. So it's basically the person that is in charge of the unit's social media, or anything media related right so i'm used to being the company pao you know what i'm saying too easy that's fun whatever my last duty station i was offered the opportunity to, opportunity to be the battalion pao so if you're not in the army you don't know what a battalion is a battalion is like an entity full of companies so i work in a company and a battalion can have like like my but my old battalion had like three companies so companies make up a battalion all right i know everybody that watches me is not in the army so y'all don't know but yeah so i was offered to be the battalion pao but i couldn't take it because i was leaving like pcsing so all right so um because I, this week has a bang i'm not gonna do all that cutting lace or you know what i'm saying bullshit i'm not doing that that's how i look Period. I look good as fuck. This is what I need, that motivation. So, um, yeah, so there's companies that make up a battalion, and then um, battalions make up a brigade, and then brigades make up a division. So, you guys, me, y'all, me at the division level, I'm shocked. But I did get it, and I almost cried when my sergeant major said yes. 
because he could have easily been like, no, girl, we need you at the motor pool, you know? But I'm really excited. I'm actually very nervous because um, the people that I... Oh, my lash coming off? No. Because the people that I'm going to be working with, like, they don't know me. They don't know who I am. Like, not to say that I'm somebody popular. But they don't really know who I am. So it's like, I think they're kind of sleeping on me a little bit. Which I wouldn't blame them because they're like, she's a fucking AC mechanic. What would she know? Grown little, you know, I know a lot, sweetheart. But yeah, so let me go ahead and throw this wig on. Jesus Christ. Let me throw this wig on. It's hot as fuck in Texas, so it's way too hot to be having a, um, a whatchamacallit, a bob. I mean, long hair is just too hot, so. Whew, I look like Tina Turner. Oh, they also did send me a, a comb, but I dirtied the comb. All right, let's see. Oh, this is gonna be so pretty. Elf in here. Elfin hair came. Oh, whoa. look, elfin hair came through for your girl this weekend, y'all. Y'all know I don't know how to braid, so I just did a little quick throw my wig cap on, throw my wig on, and fly on it. So thank you so much to Elfin Hair for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. If you guys like this wig, y'all want to check it out. I'll leave all the links down below. I personally love this wig. I love the price point. I love everything about it. It's simple. It's basic. Throw it on and go for the weekend. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to try to take some pictures for Instagram because my outfit is from Fashion Uber and I want to see if I can pull off an Insta baddie picture, which I can't, but I'm going to try my best. So yeah, so I'm going to go outside back here and see if I can film a picture or get a picture, a cute picture. So if I do get a cute picture, I'll let you guys know. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um... What's today? I don't even know. Today is Tuesday, July 27th. Um, it is 10.34. I just left another appointment. Well, not an appointment, y'all. I was due for hearing. Um, if y'all don't know, every year you got to get a certain amount of stuff like hearing, um, HIV testing, all this kind of stuff. So I um, just finished my hearing. I usually do feel hearing. 
I'm trying to car vlog more. I usually do feel hearing, y'all. I feel hearing every year. Um, yeah, I usually feel hearing every year because your girl is deaf, okay? And I with my ear pro. I think it's just because I work in a motor pool around um, loud stuff. But yeah, so um, yeah, that's today. Today is Tuesday. What I gotta do this week because I'm starting to do weekly vlogs. So I'm gonna tell y'all what I gotta do this week. Child, my life is crazy. So today I ordered my meal prep. Excuse me, I gotta go pick up my meal prep. I ordered some hibachi stuff. I'll show you guys when I get it. Um, I ordered some meal prep. Um, I got more intros to do this weekend, uh, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. I was up early, stayed up late at night just to knock out these intros for y'all. Like whoever ordered a YouTube intro knows what I'm talking about. If you guys don't know, if you guys don't have me on Instagram, I'll post my Instagram right here on the screen. Um, I do YouTube intros for people. I do thumbnails. I do everything. Like I really do everything. I even um, edit videos for people too as well now. So, um, yeah. So that's what I do. And then, yeah. So I I edit videos for people too. Um, Jayla actually hit me up. If y'all know who Jayla is here on YouTube, Jayla Quarion. She hit me up like months back to edit for her, but that didn't work out. So. What the hell? Yeah, she hit me up months um ago to edit for her, but that didn't work out. But y'all, I had woke up on the bad side of the bed this morning. The bad side of the bed. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I had a fucking stank ass attitude, y'all. I don't know where my thing is for you guys. My little mount. I don't know. I just got the text. We doing the ACFT all next week. Like what the fuck? I took the ACFT probably like four times already. Like, I think that should be enough. Like, y'all are ODing right now. Like, the fuck? But anyways, whatever. Maybe they'll learn. Maybe us taking the ACFT. It's my, this will be my first time taking the ACFT in this unit. Maybe they'll learn that we should do more than run for PT. But, hey. What do I know? Anywho, you guys, I am on West Fort Hood. That's where I did my hearing at. Um, I do need to go. So, I need to do that. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. I'll show you guys. So, I bought one of these little things on Amazon. It's like for your car to block out the sun. And I also have a bag of clothes back here that... Y'all see the bag? Y'all don't see the bag. That I want to give to Plato's... Not give, but... Give to Plato's closet. Look, y'all. So much clothes that I have to give to Plato's closet. This shit been sitting in the thing for a while. I got a lot of stuff in there that I'm going to I'm gonna give to Plato's closet. And then... That's really it. I do want to start back going to the gym. Um, we do PT every morning, but um, I still have my own personal goals that I want to accomplish. And I do, I have some. Um, Listen, some girl can't handle dick. I have some, also I have some packages and stuff that I'm waiting for, for sponsored content. And then, um... I think I'm, I'm going to do my intros up until the end of the year. After that, I'm going to stop doing them completely. Um, a, there's also another girl that wants me to build her website. It's another girl that paid me to edit her BBL video for her. I just got so much shit to do, y'all. But I just barely have time. So much shit and not enough time. So if you are um, waiting on your intro, thank you for being here. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday morning. I ain't got nothing positive to say, so I ain't even going to say it. But I'll miss Wednesday morning. I don't know where the fuck I put y'all, but good morning. All right, y'all. Like I was saying before I was interrupted. Y'all, so I know I've been here since April. I've been in Florida since April, but um, they had a newcomer's PT in brief. So if you're new, then you know you have to do PT with the CG. Um, we have a new CG. And then um, with the time major as well. So we did that, and then we had to do a brief. So as they are briefing, there's like different people briefing and stuff. Y'all, why did someone came and briefed, and they work for the public affairs office? So if you don't know what public affairs is, it's like the MOS that I want to change to. It's like basically social media and uh, media for the army. So that's the MOS I want to reclass to, but I don't have a 110 GT score, so that's what's really hurting me. Well, actually, not really. That's not what's really hurting me, but what's really hurting me is that it used to be an application MOS. Application MOS is an MOS where... Who the fuck is this coming? 
Okay, application MOS is an application is a MOS where you put an application regardless of in, in and out calls. Like your in and out calls don't matter. So um, it used to be application MOS and now it's not anymore. So I would have to wait until I'm in my window, which is a very long time from now. So basically, the PAO, the public affairs lady, was basically saying that they need people. So I didn't want to say anything in front of everybody else. So I waited till she left, and then I act like I had to go to the bathroom. Y'all, I'm in that parking lot looking for this lady. I stopped some random car and she was just so happened to be in there so we were just talking and stuff and she was like it's so crazy because your unit doesn't have one and y'all need one so I'm gonna go talk to her at 1300 right now it's 1142 so hopefully y'all everything goes good I would love to do the social media like uh, pray for me y'all I'll give y'all an update after um after I talk to her so in the morning here on Fort Hood so right now as y'all can see y'all see people running and um, there's some people in the line including me waiting is because the PT route what street is that I think that's oh Battalion Avenue yeah Battalion Avenue is blocked off from 630 to 730 because of PT so I guess well I'm assuming everyone is just sitting in the line waiting and that's what I'm doing um yeah y'all we I look a little crazy let me show y'all how I look Look at my hair, bitch. Crazy. But, um, yeah, I look a little crazy, but I'm gonna tell you guys a little story time later because yo girl had a horrible weekend. So I'm gonna tell you that story time in another video, but right now, I guess I'm gonna be chilling here for about seven minutes. Um, yeah, so it's 7.23. I gotta be back at work at 9.30. This morning... What did we do this morning? So this morning, there was an ACFT. They're making the whole company take an ACFT, of course, because y'all know for the... Um, so I major the Army said he want those grades in. I took the ACFT like three times already. So this would be my fourth time taking the ACFT. But this will be my first time taking it with the two-minute plank. And um, I take it on Wednesday, I believe. So I'm going to try my best. And I'm going to let y'all know how that goes. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if I can do the plank. I've tried... And I like gave up at 1.30. So we'll see. You got to do two minutes. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we just really assisted, um, you know, with that this morning. And my house, I said my house. What the fuck? I'm, yeah, I'm just so out of it right now. Oh, I did get my eyebrows microbladed. If y'all see them. It looked like I drew it on. No, it's a tattoo, bitch. Well, they call ombre brows, but they last for about a year to three years. So. And I also did get my nails done. If you guys seen that clip, my fingers are crooked as fuck. But yeah, but y'all, my weekend was very emotional, y'all. I literally almost slept in the car with the dog. And it was just very emotional because I love that fucking dog. Like, that dog, even though he pisses me off, you know what I'm saying, when he does certain stuff. Like, and me, I can't even imagine anything happening to him because he's like literally my heartbeat, so yeah but anyway i'm gonna go to the hotel real quick um the hotel i got got free breakfast so i'm probably gonna get some breakfast in and, and then and yo y'all this morning i freaking locked myself i don't i don't know how i did it but i locked the bathroom door on myself so now when i go in the room the bathroom door is locked so i'm gonna call the people at this at the front desk ask them if they can help me open it or what but yeah so i don't know it's like when i'm feeling down i really don't want to come on here and talk to y'all because I don't want to be negative and I don't want it to I don't want y'all to watch me and then like I don't want my negativity to rub off on you guys so I'm gonna check in with y'all later it's time to play some music what the fuck me pull up another blue bandoli we got five minutes here make sure my uh, go ahead and put the car in park cause uh
No kitchen has never been a knife. As a boy, I fuck some ways down the road. All right. Good morning, y'all. I don't know the last thing I told y'all, but I'm sorry, y'all. I've just been so busy. I haven't really been picking up the camera and vlogging much, but okay. Today is, what is today? Today is Tuesday, August 3rd. Tomorrow is Wednesday. We have the ACFT, meaning that I will be taking it. Um, what else? So right now I'm going to go to division. If you guys remember, I told y'all that I met a lady, a woman, uh, staff sergeant, at uh, the newcomers brief that I went to is for all the new soldiers um, coming to Fort Hood. And I was supposed to meet up with her, but then we ended up not meeting up. I forgot what happened. I think she had like a meeting or an interview or something. And then yesterday we were supposed to link up and then something happened. But right now I'm about to go. I'm about to meet up with her at 10 o'clock. Y'all pray for me. Like I really hope that I get this position or I just hope that I just hope like God, please. Like only God knows what I'm going through right now mentally and spiritually. Like I just feel like giving up. Um, but I'm trying to hold on. I be trying to hold on for y'all too because y'all be motivating me so much. Like, y'all be motivating me so much. Like, oh my god. Oh, I did meet two subbies. I met a subby in the hotel. The lady that works. I'm sorry, I'm chewing. The lady that works at the desk. Her name is Christian, or is it Christina? It's one of those. I met her. She's so nice. Um, I went down there to get some drinks, and then she didn't even let me pay for it. She paid. She was like, girl, this on me. And I was like, oh my God, girl, what? But she's so fucking sweet, girl. If you're watching it, it's like, let me take my gum out. Literally the day that I, the, literally the day that I came and checked into this hotel, y'all, I checked in for a specific reason. Like, I was just really, like, going through it. So she really did, um, like, I was just going through that night. Like, I'm going to be honest, y'all, that night was really rough for me. Like, mentally, like, I cannot be separated from my dog. Like, I will cry. Like, oh, my God. I just love I just love Louis so much. Like, oh, my God. Like, I just love He's like my heart. Like, the other half of my heart. So, I love Louis as much as I love my mom. Like, it's crazy. Like, I, I never had a pet before, so I didn't know pets could mean so much to someone until I got a pet. And I'm like, oh, my God, my baby. Like, if anything ever happened to him, like, I will start crying. Like, I'm, I'm even about to cry thinking about it. But anyways... So I was like, it was a rough, rough night for me. And then when I got to the hotel and I was trying to check in, she was like, I'm a subby. And then I just felt like way more relaxed. I was like, oh my God, because I felt like my world's about to end. But I met her and then I also met another girl. Let me see what, damn. Let me look to see what her Instagram name is. I don't, honestly don't know her name. Cause I was walking out with Louie and then she was like, I watch your YouTube. And I was like, oh my God, hey girl. But let me go walk him real quick. Cause he's about to shit on himself. Well, he wasn't about to shit on himself, but I thought in my head that he was going to, he really had to shit. So I would just, her Instagram name is Lene Kosi. That's her Instagram name. So yeah. Hey girl. She's so sweet. I did just go in and speak with the people that I need to speak with. And basically they said, absolutely. Yes. They said that the ultimate decision like the yes well the ultimate decision is going to fall back on my first sergeant and my um my platoon sergeant my first sergeant and my um sorry major so i did ask my boss um i like fucking sped i sp y'all i'm it's sped a word i literally flew to the motor pool during lunch and he was there and i asked him and he said yes i knew he was gonna say yes because okay so the person i'm referring to his name is sorry etienne so i know he was gonna say yes because he literally like he's just like a great nco and he always looks out for the soldiers and he just really wants like what's best for you or what's gonna make you happy so that's why i knew he was gonna say yes and then the next decision and basically they want to answer today basically so um well, basically, it was, they was just like, don't sit on it. Like, if you want this, you better go fucking beg or do some shit or whatever. Um, and now it's on my first sergeant and my command sergeant major. And my command sergeant major, his name is Command Sergeant Major Monsato. 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 And he is also... I mean, a lot of people think he's mean. He's not mean to me. Um, he is a little stern. But, I mean, what sergeant major is not stern? Like, what the fuck? He's a sergeant major. So, I feel like... Oof. I, I don't know what he would say. I think he would say yes. And then my first son, I don't know what he would say. My first son is very mean. Like, he's so mean. And I hope he says yes, because I want this shit so fucking bad, bro. Like, bro. Like, 
bro. <laughs> I've been talking about this shit for literally the past couple years. Anybody that knows me knows I've been talking about this shit. And then it's like for me to be an AC mechanic and have this opportunity is crazy to me, y'all. It's so crazy. Like when I say if they say no, I'm going to be oh, I'm about to cry. I'm going to be so devastated because it's like my fucking dream. Like. It's like my dream, like, what the fuck? So if they say no, I'm going to be so heartbroken. But if they say yes, I'm going to cry anyway because I'm going to be so happy. But y'all hope they say yes because what the fuck? Like, this is a once-in-a-lifetime career opportunity. Like, public affairs, anyone can be PAO for, in a sense, their company. Like, in my last unit, I was the company PAO. My unit before that was the company PAO. So there's company, there's a battalion, there's a brigade, and then there's division. This is the highest level like I could ever get and not be in that MOS. So I'm praying to God because that would just, oh my God, I'm about to cry, bro. This is like, I just really need it. Like I imagine being the lowest level and then getting, getting opportunity where you where you go from the lowest level to the highest level. And I am praying to God. So, oh God. All right, I'm going to sit in the car and just pray until somebody calls me or some shit. Y'all, it's Friday. Um, damn, I look crazy, but I started my makeup. I haven't finished it yet. I'm going to spend today, which is Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, filming and doing intros. I got a lot of stuff that I need to knock out because your girl is about to move in about a month. I'm so excited, but with me being excited, I need to clear out some some you know i just got a lot of shit so i'm trying to clear out everything i'm trying to finish all my hair sponsorships that i have to finish that i've been sitting on for months but i'm eating my meal prep right now let me show y'all real quick y'all see that let me show y'all the right way all right we got steak shrimp and vegetables so i got that i'm eating that real quick before i go back and finish my makeup and then i have to do this um um, video I actually have to do like mad videos but it's so hard you guys not knowing how to fucking braid like it's like everything that I want to learn like everything that I want to teach myself I've learned like driving like all this stuff like but braiding I can't fucking learn how to braid like I'm just struggling right now but um that's that Oh, I, did, I didn't tell you guys, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, then y'all will know all this stuff kind of already. Um, if you're not following me, I'll post it on the screen. Um, I was getting laser scar removal when I was in Germany, and that shit do not work. Um, I've had a key, okay, so I've had keloids before. Mm, that shit good as fuck. It's a little dry though. And I have had, I'm sorry if I'm smacking you, I'm fucking hungry, it's like 6 o'clock. And I have had keloids that I made, like, go away. So I started doing the laser treatment in Germany, and that shit don't work. So now I'm back to doing the first way that worked. But, there's, but the people in Germany didn't want to do it that way, and I'm looking at them like, I've already done it, it works, I do it. Pussies. Um, so... <laughs> I did do some injections um, in my scars. Well, there's a difference between a keloid and a hydro, what's it called? Oh my God, I'm not even in focus. Hypertrophic scar, so yeah, whatever. So basically I have some skin bleaching cream that I was um, prescribed for my scars. So yeah, I'm kind of scared to use that. It has to stay in the fridge and all that, so that's cool. But um, that's that. Y'all, why we took it? We had an XFT this week. Ask me how I did that too many plane. God was by my side for that too many plane. The crazy thing is, surprisingly, I could have kept going. Like, when I tell you I was solid as a rock during that plank, I was solid. Like, I was so surprised. Like, I'm really proud of myself. Because I didn't know if I could do a plank or not. Especially after doing the sprint drag carry all that stuff. So I did the minimum on everything because I wanted to see like, okay, Jasmine, can you do the minimum and have energy to do that plank? Girl. 
So y'all happen. Part of myself for that. Um Yeah, that's the only thing that I don't like about these meal preps. Some of them things be dry as fuck. My lips is already dry, girl. Like, what am I gonna do with these dry as Never I paid for it, so I'm just gonna eat it. Um what else? Oh yeah. I'm gonna give you guys an update on what, what the decision was for me moving. Alright, y'all, real quick. Okay, my I know my background look a little messy. Well, I don't know if you can see the mess, but I got wigs everywhere because I'm trying to look for this one wig from Diva Wigs that I got to do the sponsorship for. I had already started flying it like months ago, like two months ago. But now I can't find it. So now I have to re-look for it. It's summer in here, girl. I got shit everywhere in this fucking room. Anywho's, I want to give you guys an update with the school. Oh, I think in my nails. I don't know if I told you guys. So update with the school. I did apply for Texas A&M and I did get accepted, but I wanted to change my major like I told you guys. And I'm realizing that changing my major is going to make me be in school longer. And I don't fucking like that. I don't want to keep, you know what I mean? So, and I also don't want to continue what I'm doing now. Cause it's like, I already know kind of everything. So it's like, what is, what's the point of me getting a degree in something that I already fucking self-taught? You know what I mean? So yeah, girl. So if I stay in my school, I'll have less than 30 credits until I finish. Right. But then if I go and I transfer my and I transfer to Texas A&M and um, change my major, I'll have 75 fucking credits left. Are you crazy? Like, there's no way. Like, there's no way. I'll figure it out. But my mom did call me, so I'm going to call her back. I kind of waited for you guys to, well, to start vlogging to call her back. Y'all, my computer is acting up. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. But it's not reading my SD card, and it's pissing me off. But let me call her back. Let's see what she's saying. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. <laughs> no, I was I was busy. My guy is so computer. Yeah, it's 7.20, ma. It's 7.30. I'm going to film a video for the TV when I'm going to show you the TV. I'm going to show you the video when I'm going to show you the TV. Oh, I'm going to show you the TV. I'm going to show you the TV. My computer is giving me a problem. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to show you the TV. I'm going to show you the TV. I guess. Oh, you bored? Oh. Uh, you want a video call me? Yeah. Watch what she's going to say, y'all. She's like, oh, you look so nice. Oh, I'm a video. Dimon, your bonjour. Bonjour. I am Jazzy Mother. <laughs> okay, Ali. I'm here. Okay. Hello. Anyway, y'all, my fault. So, my mom is crazy. But basically, Haiti just called her, so she said she's going to call me back. Anywho's. God damn, this update taking forever. I don't know what I'm going to do about school. I'm stressed out. I might as well just finish. Like, fuck. I don't want to finish in this school, but I'm going to have to just finish. Like, realistically, Jazz, you're going to have to just finish. Because there's no way that I'm going to go from having less than 30 credits left to 75 credits. That's that's a slap in the face. So, there's no way. So, yeah. I'm going to try this other school that I want to go to. See what they say. If they say the same amount or they don't say anything, I, like I could do 40, but bitch, 75, you got me fucked up, Texas A&M. You got me fucked up. So we're going to see what happens with that. And then if anything, I'll just stay at the school that I'm at, University of Maryland. I don't hate the school. It's a very good school, but bitch, I want to change my motherfucking major. Like, I want a different vibe. Like, I want to go to school in person. Like, what the fuck is this damn online shit? This online shit is caca. This shit make you feel like you getting an online degree like who the fuck no offense to those who have it but i just don't want that like i don't mind doing some courses online 
and some in person or majority in person and a little bit online but everything online is very disrespectful like stop playing with me like stop playing with me um ah oh my gosh so let me tell y'all so i love all not all of them but i love the majority of the soldiers that i work with right and it's so fucked up because oh shit girl let me look at that message okay tiny ways this one of the soldiers her name is landa i fucking love landa let me tell y'all all my all the soldiers that i love so we got landa we got okay we got specialist landa specialist mcneil specialist graves and specialist mayon okay so landa she i think she's mexican i think i don't want to be wrong that is my fucking girl like i love landa like she's so funny she's always like embracing the suck with me she always like every time we, we run me and her run the slowest so we always together you know what i mean like i just really love landa like oh my god like i just love her i wish i could just like take her and just just cut her <laughs> i love landa so much like she introduced me to starbucks now i can't stop drinking the pink drinks because i just love starbucks now like i know y'all know i don't give a fuck about coffee or none of that shit but now i'm like really addicted to starbucks mayon oh my god so landa mayon and mcneil they all they all are the same mos they're um 92 alphas which is like a clerk so they work in there you can either work in the ssa or the motor pool whatever so mayon crazy ass okay so mayon is this african-american dude real slim well he's not real slim because he's been going to the gym now now he all swole he don't know how to act but he is funny as fuck like these soldiers just make my day like no matter how bad it sucks like as long as i have them or i'm with them or i'm bracing to suck with them like i feel like we could do anything like it's so crazy i love them so much i love man he's like a little brother to me like he's so funny he roasted me he just i just love him like i love man what about okay so mcneil at first me and me and mcneil we used to oh my camera's dying what the fuck so at first i'm just gonna talk until the die so at first me and mcneil we used to like debate a lot because he's real cheap and y'all know i like dudes that spend money so we would kind of like debate with our ideas like he'll be like i'm not spending no money to buy no bitch no drink at the club and i'm like oh no like i'm not talking to no dude if he ain't buying bottles so we be having a little like debate and stuff you know it's, it's real cool i love mcneil like mcneil um he's my soldier for like a fucking week but i love him like he just has so much potential i don't think he knows how much potential he has like i could see mcneil making it very far being very squared away and i just want to help him so bad like you know because i think he just he has so much potential he just needs that guidance you know or that like motivation that inspiration whatever but i love mcneil like boy when i said that motherfucker be making me laugh like i just love all the soldiers and then there's graves oh god graves crazy ass child so graves is a fueler um african-american um lady i'm gonna say lady because she's in her 30s and she don't put up with nobody bullshit y'all like if she got a problem she's gonna let you know she loud as hell she also i think has so much potential like so i think graves has so much potential as well but i feel like her attitude is gonna be in the way or i feel like her attitude is gonna like make her miss out on opportunities you know what i mean like Oh, I, I just wish like I could just talk to her like girl you you have so much potential but you just gotta change your attitude and you know what I mean but I love Graves too she's a real ass bitch like I just excuse me Ooh. she's not a bitch but y'all know what I mean like I just love all my soldiers like all of them I love all the soldiers I just want to like take them with me to every duty station like I just love them like oh my god like I know for a fact when I leave or if one of them leaves I'm gonna cry like I love them so much and I only been with them for two months like I just love them like I love the soldiers but anywho's um my camera is dying so i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i'm gonna see y'all in my next vlog which is gonna be fucking lit and then also stay tuned for a house tour an unfurnished house tour that's coming as well and i don't want to do no car tour but stay tuned for that you guys i love y'all and i'll see y'all in my next vlog